kind of uh, this is uh, a printed uh, copy of the uh, DSS uh, uh, statement on the court invasion uh, that happened and I, I, I went through it first of all when I was reading the statement the first time I read the statement is it, it, it sounded so familiar and I was wondering why did, why is this statement sounding familiar as if I have read it before seeing it uh, before uh, seeing it on uh, in, uh, online and I it just I just realized that it is almost word for word for the narratives in the that the BMC handles and those supporters of uh, government and uh, you know that attack everyone else uh, that criticize the government and they're always supporting the government no matter what is part of mostly they just be sharing that uh, message it's good number the way so I like mm, that was why it was uh, looking uh, so uh, familiar uh, just reading uh, the, the statement the first thing that I, w I would like to talk about here is the fact that when something it's it's a lie, an allegation is being made against you, the first thing you do is immediately you refute it. Immediately you put a stop to it. Immediately you say no, especially organization uh, like this. So it was a very big, uh, big allegation, big crime uh, that you were being accused of. And so for them to stay that long, to wait as an afterthought, to do a statement, I begin to look at how to do damage control and begin to blame... Uh, uh, it's, it, it, it makes it not to sound, uh, it, it doesn't ring true, and it, that's just the way, uh, uh, that's just the way it is. I just want to look at certain issues, just from using the statement, uh, certain issues that for me, I can just, uh, by reading the statement, things that I, I'm, I'm looking at. The first one here is where, in the statement, where they said that uh, it is in instructive to note that during the court proceedings of the day under reference, Defense counsel, Femi Falana San, called the attention of the judge to his suspicion that the service was planning to, re to rearrest Omoye uh, Leshoware immediately after the court session. The court discountenanced his alarm and asserted, asserted that the service was law abiding and would not engage in such and subsequently adjourned. To February 2020. That's the statement of the DSS. In that same statement of the DSS, in another paragraph below, they said, eyewitness and several media accounts have disclosed that the court had adjourned peacefully without an, uh, an incident when suddenly the unruly crowd imported into the courtroom uh, uh, went into frenzy on the mere suspicion that DSS was cited at the court premises. The eventual rearrest of Shaware by the DSS was effect effected outside the courtroom. His lead counsel has affirmed this. So you see, in the same para in the same statement, an earlier paragraph where DSS was saying that even when the the the, the counsel to the uh, to Shaware uh, told the court that he had suspicion that there was going to be a rearrest, the court said that that cannot be true. Because he, the, uh, the judge said um, uh, that DSS was law-abiding and would not engage with so, such. That same DSS, on that same day, outside, arrested this Ishawari. Uh, uh, so in other words, DSS ha is not the one that has this uh, countenanced the alarm that was uh, that was raised by Falana. So has not discountenanced the no, not the one raised by Falana. They has discountenanced uh, the statement made by the court. So indeed, the DSS is not law abiding, going by their statement and their their action. So that is one. Uh, so that is number two, right? So number three, they talked about uh, uh, number three here from the statement. If you, if you look at the statement, they talked about that a critical look at the videos in circulation would convince any objective viewer that there was no DSS personnel during the entire period uh, the show where a crowd acted out its orchestrated drama. Its personnel, its personnel were never at any time involved in the incident. So for me, the question is here. When they said a critical look at the videos in circulation would convince any objective viewer, DSS, do they wear uniform? Is there a uniform? Are they like police in their uniform that you know this is DSS? 
The only way most of you know this is DSS is that those are ill-fitting suits. You see them at when they are walking stiffly around. Most of that time they try to blend in with the people and all, and all of that. So how are we supposed to know who the DSS are? Apart from that, in a lot of videos that we have seen, especially the one we saw when uh, Chowere was in one of his uh, court appearances, when he wanted to talk to, uh, to, to, to journalists, and then they dragged him away. DSS people dragged him away. Were they wearing uniform? It's not this, is it not the same kind of suit that the person who, who was dragging him in the court was wearing? So please... I, I, it's not about not bringing out a statement, but at least respect our intelligence and bring out something that, you know, we would look at it and say, okay, yes, you guys are trying. Uh, but for this statement, mm, 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 it's an insult to our collective intelligence. So the fourth thing also uh, that I will put, uh, uh, read, uh, talk about here is uh, where they talked about, let me go back to the statement. Because I marked, uh, I marked out the points and uh, I just want to use uh, ex exactly their statement. So where they talked about um, the, the DSS as a professional, responsible and law-abiding organization, which, mm -mm, because the judge had said, the court had said that oh, they cannot go and arrest him because they are law-abiding and they did be arrested, show what they So what does that say? So by reading what they say, the DSS as a professional, responsible, and law-abiding organization could not have invaded a courtroom, including the one presided over by a respectable judge who is not only handling its case, but whose order was unconditionally obeyed within, 24, uh, within a 24-hour ultimatum. So what about the other orders that they have not uh, 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 obeyed? Is it that the DSS at that time is not professional, it's not responsible, and it's not law abiding? So we need we need we need answers to that. Or is it because they don't respect those other judges that they don't follow their instruction? What about even when they even broke the order, uh, the orders in even in case of shower, what happened? Then coming to five um uh the that the DSS holds the judiciary in utmost uh respect, and then so of course. Ah, so you are beginning to wonder, okay, what about the other issues about the judiciary, the other orders that have not been obeyed and all of that? What happens to those at that moment? Is it that they, do, they don't hold them in utmost respect? Or is it, a, or is it a certain moment that they all hold them in utmost respect? Even while holding them in utmost respect, you still went to the court with the intention of arresting Shawari when his counsel would uh, point out to the court that a DSS, you were there to go and arrest, to, DSS were there to go and arrest uh, his client. The court said, no, no, that can't happen because he knows that he's sure, pretty sure that they were pretty sure that the, the DSS is law abiding, responsible, and will not do. And you went ahead, even at the, you went to a, a arrest inside the court, which you are denying, and you said, now it's outside the court. It's outside the court what it's supposed to be. Then um, we come to, I come back to the sixth uh, point here that is uh I, i'm going to make which is one of the statements that they have in, in one of uh, in the paragraph of the state uh, statement where the it said the agencies uh, it said it has therefore become un, uh, unagreeable and raises a moral question as to who between shawere and the service dislikes or disobeys the court in this regard public attention may be drawn to the 22 25th uh, Ju uh july 2000 19 statement of Shawere that where he said, I'm not talking of protest, I'm embarking on revolution. Don't tell me about legal implications or what a judge will say. I don't care. And then, you know, continue. Uh, so that's where they stopped. They didn't f finish the whole uh, statement. And you know what I found really, really funny about this? Because exactly those BMC handles exactly had used this part when they were tweeting at us and you know putting out things and, and saying all sorts of things so this same narrative immediately i saw it in the statement i was like whoop their yeah, hand you can see them uh ev everywhere uh, so <laughs> i'm not joking so uh so it, it, that is it so the seventh thing also number seven um looking at 
So then they said that, uh -huh. so according to uh, the statement now, what, what DSS is saying is that sort of like implying that uh, Showare had broken his bail condition because they said on the 5th of December when Showare was released, uh, he had at the Transcorp Hilton Hotel Abuja addressed a group of persons who, re who, who he reassured of his cause to create anarchy in the country, according to uh, uh, DSS. So is it this based on the fact that, uh, okay, he wasn't probably he wasn't supposed to give a statement or talk to journalists or talk to people or whatever he had broken uh, his bail condition yeah is is that what is this what is about and then if that happens is dss not supposed to go back to the court and let the court know that this is what has happened or is it for them to just go and swap in and arrest him don't forget also the, from the DSS statement where they affirmed the fact that the, uh, the, uh, the judge had said that, you know, uh, when uh, the counsel of the Shawale raised the issue that he was going to be arrested, that that can happen because DSS is a law abiding uh, organization. So now you see they, they haven't been law abiding. If you follow, they have gone ahead to arrest him. And here they are talking about the fact that uh, he, he met with people and he was still talking. So why didn't they go back to the court if the DSS, like it has said, they have this respect for the uh, judiciary? Uh, so number uh, so the eighth thing I'm going to talk is where they say, uh, in the statement they said, it may be recalled that the DSS had on third of December 2019 raised alarm about a plot to destabilize the country. It is quite remarkable that the plot has already started playing out. I think uh, <laughs> I think what DSS, I don't know whether DSS are not living in Nigeria or they are somewhere else. Uh, the, the country is already destabilized. I mean, wh what do we have on ground with all of the, I mean, go to Abuja Kaduna Road, people can't travel on it. Even the DSS themselves with their gra gra, let them try it and travel on that and be using that road. Let's see. So the country is already destabilized. When you have Boko Haram out there, you have uh, 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 killer headsmen, you have uh, bandits, you have kidnappers, you have crimes happening everywhere. I mean, crime is now so normal a place. Those that we snatch, those that are stabbing, even within Abuja, there's so much crime everywhere. You, you leave your car for a moment, you're going to be attacked in your car. People are being, uh, all these one chance uh, uh, Texas and all of that, people are being attacked, people are being injured, people are being wounded and, and then you're talking about that. The, con the country is already destabilized. What, what are you talking about? So go after all those people that are destabilizing the country and just stop making a Situations and making yourself feel important. So what what, what is it there that uh, they are talking about? Every day you bring out the same script. They are going to destabilize the country. The, the country is already destabilized. Do something about it. And that's what you are saying to, 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 to the DSS. Uh, okay, uh, so the, then the other thing also, the ninth thing I'm going to talk about uh, is where, funny enough, uh, DSS came to say that uh, to ensure this objective is further achieved, some persons and groups are scoring to seize the opportunity of the misleading court incident and wrong narrative against the DSS to organize an insurrection in the country. So who is DSS talking to? Who? So your action, yes, the action of DSS ensure that Nigerians were angry because this is a slap on our face. The democracy that a lot of people died for, they, 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 they're trying to truncate it. And people, kept, people raised up their voices. And that's the voice that they're afraid of. It's that unity when Nigerians speak out. So that say, tells you something. That the government is afraid of your voice. That the government is afraid of you coming together and standing for something. Because when they know you do that, they, they know that they are in trouble. They are, it, will, it will no longer be business as usual. It will now be business unusual. And that's the reason why at every moment they throw things in so that you'll be fighting amongst yourselves and you, you, you will not have that voice. So the voices that have been raised is what they are afraid of. So what is it? Is it the, that is making them say that, oh, uh, people are seizing the opportunity? No, it's not people seizing the opportunity. It's, the, it's what you have done that is wrong, it's unconstitutional, and we're not going to accept it in our country and it's earlier DSS realized that the better it is for them and Nigerians this is a moment where we have to know that this nation is our own it's not for a few people and we must fight for this nation and must insist that uh, the right thing uh, be done so that is for the uh, way they talked about uh, and they also said that they have continued to falsely carry and mobilize international sentiments and attention through claim is representation of the facts for their selfish ends 
what, what is more selfish than DSS that has refused to follow, to go and invade uh, the terrorists that have refused to infiltrate all the groups that are killing us and ensure that they are taken care of. What have they done with the bandits, the terrorists, the kidnappers, the criminals all around? What have they done? Nothing. And yet, because the international world was aghast at what they had done and there was condemnation all over the world, so now they feel it. They always want to look good outside. They also have to curry their favor. So now they are going to blame it on the people who, who, who are raising their voices is it because of the uh, uh, Niger black monday that we're going to have that is making you afraid or is it the protest that is being called for that is making you making you afraid you shouldn't do the wrong thing if we do not do these things there wouldn't have been any need for anybody talking or raising their voices if they have simply uh, of course what happened when when they, when they when they released a show where are people they're clapping. Did you see anybody say they were going to do a protest to you for doing the right thing? Did you see anybody calling? Did you see any uh, international, uh, 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 the international committee coming to, to, to condemn you for releasing him or anything? Wait, by the time you do the right thing, nobody is going to, you won't even, even if the person wants to, they won't have space to go around. But if you don't do the right thing, definitely people will talk. They will not be silenced. This is our country. And we all are stakeholders in, uh, in Nigeria. Yeah, okay, so that, that's, they, okay, they talked about uh, seizing the moment. Then the other thing, of course, I saw where they, like, where they were talking about em, uh, emphasizing on the fact that uh, Showare is facing trial, not as an activist, journalist, or a politician, but for his resort to call for violence, forceful takeover of government as suspected transnational illegal activities. It is most unfortunate that Showare, shortly after being released from custody based on court orders, resorted to act to act in a nickel to security. So in other words, because of course there has been the international world and everything, the heat has been on them talking about, you know, uh, arresting uh, journalists for saying the truth and all of that. So they just want to take that out, out of it. That was the same thing uh, we saw with our, our, our country, uh, our, our military trying to label uh, someone a terrorist, a journalist who always brought out the, the true picture of what was happening in the in the northeast and so this is the same thing that DSS is doing that have uh, continuously uh, tried to do that and then for you to really know that the statements from the international community is really getting at them what pe what is being said there it's it's really uh, 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 getting at them basically is where they will end it with the father where they say those sections of the populace have been fed with spurious narratives about these developments Nigerians and international com com community should not be gullible or even vulnerable to the marginalization of uh, groups the, uh, desirous of misleading them. This is not about any group misleading anybody. This is about the action of DSS and the earlier DSS own up to him, the better it is for them. From their statements, you can see everything that it's not even not properly brought out. And if they're going to put out a statement and they're going to lie, please, they should do it intelligently. They should not abuse our intelligence. Our nation will continue to stand for it, we we'll continue to, to, to be law abiding, we we'll continue to do the right thing. I will not allow our security agencies that are set up uh, to be the ones that will be uh, that will not be law abiding to take the laws into their hands. They need to know every security agent should know that their allegiance is to Nigeria and Nigerians and not to the president and the ruling party.